Form Doctor gives your business everything needed to easily send and receive HIPAA compliant forms online. Today we're going to do a quick product tour of the Form Doctor platform. First, we'll take a look at a sample form packet. This is what your patient will see whenever they're filling out your forms online. Next, we'll take a look at the account administrator. This is where you'll come to actually receive those completed forms online from your patients, as well as where you can come to manage your forms, send forms out to patients via text message and email, and also send automatic reminders. So we'll go ahead and start off here on our sample form packet. This is what our patients would see. You can customize your form packet with your logo, brand, and styling so everything's going to match all seamlessly for your patients. You can see we've got one, two, three forms here set up in our packet. First field that we have on form number one is going to be patient name. So if the patient went ahead and tried to skip over this patient name, it is going to pop up with a little required tag, just letting the patient know that this field is required. So I'll go ahead and just fill out the patient name here. Next, we've got a how did you hear about us question. This is a conditional logic question. So depending on what the patient selects, it's actually going to show a different question. So if we selected referring doctor, it's going to show the doctor's first name, last name, same with friend. Or if we selected online search, it's going to give us a little drop down here. All these fields are customizable. You can set them up in any way that you want. Uh, this is just an example. Next, we've got a little conditional question for are you in pain? If you have forms that require diagrams, we can set those up for you as well. Uh, you can see we can give the patient the ability to draw directly onto your forms and then they're submitted securely back over to you. Once we finish form number one, we'll go ahead and click next form. It'll take us over to our upload cards form. This is form number two. You can see it's got options here so that we can upload insurance information. If we have insurance, we can select yes click on the insurance and then it gives us a little prompt here to go ahead and upload any insurance cards. If the patient is filling out these forms from their phone, it'll actually give them access to snap a photo of any insurance or ID cards front and back. Uh, same thing with our photo ID down here. We can go ahead and upload a, a photo of that as well. We'll go ahead and click on over to our last form. This is just a sample consent form. Uh, you can see this went ahead and populated my name here into this paragraph of text as well as into the patient name field here as well. So if I was to go and actually change my name out, you can see how this will actually update in the uh, patient name area on the first form as well as in our paragraph as well. So basically those autocomplete fields will all be uh, linked together. Finally, we'll come over here and just give a nice little signature. Uh, we make it real easy for patients to sign from any kind of phone, tablet, or computer. And then finally, we'll go ahead and hit Submit. Now, you can direct your patients wherever you want. You know, from the Thank You page, you can direct them to your website or a scheduling uh, program that you have or your EHR. Uh, but we have just a sample uh, Thank You page here uh, for now. Next, we'll go ahead and jump over to our Account Administrator. This is where we'll come to actually receive those completed forms online from our patients. Uh, first thing here on our send and receive page, uh, we'll go ahead and just fill out the uh, send forms area so we can kind of see what it looks like to send forms out via text message and email. So we'll go ahead and uh, fill out the patient's name. We'll select the forms that we want to send the patient. We'll type in the patient's email address and then also a phone number as well so that patient can receive those forms via text message. Now, we've got a spot here for appointment date and time. You can include this if the appointment has already been scheduled, or you can also include it to send an automatic reminder uh, to be scheduled to go out to the patient. That way you're always getting completed forms back from your patients before the appointment. I'm just gonna hit the send forms button. Now those forms were successfully sent to Bill Smith. You can come down here in the receive forms area. This is where we've actually got our Bill Smith uh, incomplete form. You can see that it was successfully sent to Bill Smith. Uh, we've got the sample form packet that was sent to them at 11.51 a.m. We've got a status here of not opened. All that means is those forms were successfully sent to Bill, uh, but maybe he, had, he hasn't had a chance to open up those forms yet. You can also send a manual reminder to Bill. Uh, say his appointment's coming up, you still haven't gotten those completed forms from him. It's gonna send an additional email as well as an additional text message as well. 
Now, once we have a completed form, you can see this is the Bob Doe that I had completed previously. Uh, we've got our patient name here. Uh, we can review all of the information in this. We've got our diagram listed out here, ready to go. We can review any insurance or ID cards. Simply just click on the uh, insurance card here. It's gonna pull up with a full image. Uh, same thing with our ID cards here. You can always download those images, upload them to any EMR that you have or if you need to file them. And then of course, we've got our consent form as well with our uh, completed patient signature. So finally, we can come over here. Say we wanted to export these completed forms out. We can simply click the PDF button. It's gonna go ahead and generate us a nice little PDF. And then from there, we can upload those uh, completed PDF uh, patient forms directly to any uh, EMR that we may have.